uh, terminology. We find that there is a devotion, honesty, and dedication. And here we find a very different approach towards the sources. For instance, if you take the Greek sciences, you find that the Greeks has encapsulated all scientific traditions and they, in two stages, in Hellenic and later in Hellenistic, they produced texts, which some of them arrived to us. And that was the state of art as they have inherited, they have modified, added, promoted, developed, and then uh, uh, codified in the different schools like Alexandria School, etc., and that was passed to us, to next generations. We find that the Muslims, when they had inherited these sciences, they were always acknowledging that. You find when they are quoting in the first, uh, in the first phases they were quoting with names, with sources, Kala Abograt, Kala Jarinos, Kala Aristo, etc. And they were making their exegesis on those, or they were making the commentary on those. And when they differed, they say, Kala, he said so, and I say so. Kala wa akulu, and then he put his own opinion. And then if he is writing, a critique to that word, he will write a book and he will call it shukuk ala, critics on. Critics on Ptolemy, critics on the Cleve, Kurds, on, on this and that, whatever the subject. So you find a kind of honest methodology which was not always the case because we find in later stages of some Latin translations that books, of, books were taken completely and referred to the uh, interpret to the translator or under a different name and then you discover that book was translated from. So you find here that there is a kind of a different approach to scholarship. Of course there has been a longer translation period in, 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 in Baghdad, etc. and in other parts and then after a certain lapse of time you find these books has been started to be translated to Latin and to Hebrew, and from there they passed to, to Europe. The influence of, of, uh, of Islamic civilization is not only felt, could be felt in, in, in sciences, also in arts. We can find amazing examples, which is not very famous. For instance, the visitors of Arena Chapel in Padua, in Italy, will be astonished to see on the painting of the resurrection of Azarus, which depicts the figure of the Christ, Arabic characters appearing in the right shoulder of the Christ. Also, the, vis the visitors of a famous church in Florence will also be surprised to see the central scene of the painting of the coronation of the Virgin of Fra Lippo Lippi showing the Virgin Mary and angels hold, holding a scarf with the Arabic script on it. Even the sleeves of the, of the Virgin and the borders of her robe bear the same decorative Arabic writing. The two artists and many others might have been ignorant of the origins of such writing. The secret of using this kind of fabric must be sought in the many pieces of silk and other clothes brought into Europe from the East, as it was highly appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, how many long centuries the West would have waited for its Renaissance without the Islamic contribution? What would have been the destiny of medicine in the world had there been no Avicenna, Razi, Zahrawi, or Ibn Nafis? What would have been the fate of mathematics without al harizmi the simple yet revolutionary Islamic addition of the zero, the decimal system, and, and the science of algebra? 
What about science of optics without the contribution of Ibn Haysen and his peers? Astronomy without Azarkali, Nasiruddin Tusi, Ali Kushru, and Taqid Din al -Rasi. What would have been the destiny of philosophy had there been no Farabi or Avicenna or Averroes? Sociology without Ibn Haldun or the Islamic contributions in the science of history and geography without all the great names of long list of historians and geographers. Can one omit the contribution of Muslim system of school to the European educational system and how with the translation of different texts and the emulation of certain endowment system for the early universities in, in European history and the effect of medicine system on this uh, establishment of these learning institutions which came with European universities which has no roots in the Greek or Latin prehistory. The only roots to be traced and this is through the different studies which has been revealing the relation between the um, emergence of teaching corporates in the West and the medicine system. This list on different relation between East and West and different disciplines could be enlarged and hundreds and thousands, at least one thousand and one example could be given. <laughs> But I'm not going to this, uh, this subject because I think nobody can give it its due right in, in, in the presentation here. But let me make reference to important contribution the Muslims did to science in the world. I think that two aspects, salient aspects, are very important. First, its universality, second, its environment sensitivity and friendly character. On the first aspect, if you look to the sciences, scientific traditions before Islam, as first scientific uh, 